This is West Africa, birthplace of the talking drum, which leads us on a journey through soccer, science and sorcery. The African is notoriously religious. The African is notoriously musical. I want you to see that too. Immediately you hear the panago play, it draws people near. People enjoy themselves, sing together, dance together, play together. It's a social music. You can play in any ceremony, party, like adoring, soccer, on a pitch, wherever. It's very supportive. Music is employed um, to invoke the presence of the gods or the presence of spirits. It is also um, used to induce a kind of a religious state of mind. You actually use the drum to trigger off possession. Each god is represented by a different rhythm. So when a certain rhythm is played, um, the person is al already slightly primed to become entranced. But there are actually rhythmic tricks. And sometimes they go off the rhythm. And sometimes they will go off the rhythm with the dancer and then stop in midair. And the person is left hanging. And that's when the ego can sort of evaporate in that moment. If in the culture you have a particular music or song or a particular way of producing music with drums, and that is the culture, and it's different from another culture that you're playing against, so it can be focused uniquely on the one team, that is going to have a massive effect. When the right type of music is played, they are ready now. And uh, they are possessed and they, they speak the future of the people. They say a lot of things. The best players of Ghana, look how far we went. So it's our time. In this country, whenever Ghana was going to play, Christians prayed in their churches, Muslims prayed, uh, people who believed in indigenous religions or what people may call voodoo uh, also did their own rituals and they expected positive results. It happens. In Ghana, I would say about more than 60% of the teams believe in this. People who do voodoo are evil doers. They are heartless and they don't care about anything. They are not easily accepted. You know, many players are used to maybe spirituality or something like that. Mm -hmm. I know Liberty, if they, they catch it, they'll sack you. Here in West Africa, rhythm and ritual is as common as a game of soccer. Our journey to get behind the science of these mysteries continues.